Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one today. I'm the Metal Junkie, and today I'm checking out Manila Road for the very first time. Never even heard of these guys before. Uh, we got two songs. We got Divine Victim, and we're going to do The Deluge. Both of those tracks off of the same uh, title for the album, The Deluge. And this was released in 1986. It's heavy metal, power metal. That's what it says in the description, so... Let's check it out. Hopefully it's good. This was requested. So, there you guys go. Okay, this song just came right in with energy. I like the bass, the drums, everything at that starting. The the drums is very intense throughout this entire track. They're really given a lot of energy. Uh, the guitars are a bit thrashy. I like the galloping, um, very power metal type vocals, almost like Bruce Dickinson style a little bit. So interesting. The production's not the greatest, but sounds pretty cool. Pretty fun song, uh, cool solo. The the drums on this it almost sounds like it's like hardcore punk or something. It almost doesn't feel like it goes with the rest of the music. It definitely goes with it, but it almost sounds like it's from a different genre or something. Just the the punchy drums. I don't know. It's hard to explain, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Catchy riffs. Like I said I like the galloping and everything. You got this very like dirty production sound, which works for an album like this. And some interesting vocals. Lyrically, I feel like I had a lot of religious aspects to it, I feel. 
but uh, yeah, I was really honed in on the music, and it sounded pretty damn good. I'm interested to see what else this band could offer with The Deluge, which I think is broken up into like three parts, but we're going to check that one out. I know I said in the first track that uh, the vocalists sound like Bruce Dickinson, but this whole section, everything about it sounds like Iron Maiden right now. I uh, just want to point that out there. And the production, the drums actually sound super clear. They're like above everything else, which is different. I never really heard that type of mixing before, but uh, the drums is so good. But yeah, a really good uh, melodic section here and everything. The vocals are great. cool riffs everybody's going off on this track i mean the shredding going on on the guitars man they were just it's pure metal goodness that mixed with the crazy ass drumming i mean this drummer is up it's top tier man he's crazy uh just so good so far i think we're in part two now the drowned lands it's like we had a section where it seemed to come down after, uh, I think it was the end of Eye of the Sea. So, yeah, we're in part two now. And the first track that we did was uh, fun and really cool. But this one feels like epicness, you know, top tier. So damn good. <laughs>
could have went on forever and I wouldn't have been mad. Damn, that's so cool, man. Just a really awesome metal track right here. And see there that that solo was insane, but for once the the rhythm was this don't the don't and the drumming was kind of following that it was the most simple drumming that we've gotten so far because everything's been crazy but it still sounded awesome every transition every time they go into a new section it's like flawless killer riffs everything about this is top tier like i said earlier so damn good um they don't sound like Iron Maiden anymore. That was only the intro, <laughs> just to put that out there. This must be the last part. Creepy. The crashing of the waves and everything at the end really goes with the cover art to this album. In Galt Cathedral, the last section was interesting. It was like a play out, kind of like an outro with, uh, you got these like army snare drumming uh, sections. So it felt like, like the end of a battle or something. Really cool track, man. It was epic metal goodness from start to finish crazy the the drumming is so diverse it's not only technical and like really talented but it's like there's a lot of talent in it but man it's diverse he's doing so many different things here and then you add in his crazy fills he, he was doing good simple work at one point he can do it all i feel just a really great drummer you guys need to tell me who it is and is he in anything else because I never heard of Manila Road before. Maybe they're a big band, but I just don't know them. But this really got my interest. Like I said, the first song was fun, but this one was damn epic and just, you know, top tier. So that was a lot of fun. Um, this was from, what, 1986? Crazy, eh? Divine Victim and The Deluge. I really like these tracks. Let me know what you think of these tracks. Uh, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe if you're into this type of thing. I mean, that second track, uh, The Deluge, it just had so many crazy face-melting solos. The drums were insane. The, the songwriting was impeccable, so I can't wait to check out more. Um, but that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it, but until next time, Thanks for watching.